For all of my Mediterranean food lovers, I've got a creamy Tuscan chicken recipe for you today that you are absolutely gonna fall in love with. Juicy chicken breasts are seasoned in a classic Italian spice blend, then seared until golden and paired with sun-dried tomatoes, baby spinach, garlic, and onions in the most lusciously creamy sauce. And since we're talking about the sauce, I'll give you both the classic option, which is a Parmesan and cream dairy-based sauce, and I'll show you how to make this recipe 100% dairy-free, because the more options, the better. So without further ado, let's dive into this restaurant-worthy recipe. To get started, you'll need about a quarter cup of finely chopped onion. I like to dice the onion fairly small for this recipe so that it sort of melts into the sauce rather than there being distinctly large chunks. But that's just my personal preference. And since I'm already going about chopping half an onion today, after I've measured out the amount I need for this recipe, I'll go ahead and save the rest of the onion for recipes like scrambled eggs, sautés, and stir fries to enjoy throughout the week. Because you know I'm all about that meal prep life and chopping onions the least number of times possible. Next up is four garlic cloves, and I think this amount gives a good garlicky flavor to the sauce without it becoming too overpowering. In terms of where this dish originated from, some say the classic Florentine sauce of white wine, cream, and spinach was given a Tuscan twist with garlic and sun-dried tomatoes. But let's be honest, what really popularized it, at least in America, was Olive Garden's Tuscan garlic chicken recipe served over fettuccine. But we'll leave off the fettuccine today, and I'll give you some other serving ideas at the end. The sun-dried tomatoes give this recipe that unmistakable Tuscan flavor, and you'll need a seven ounce jar of sun-dried tomatoes. The tomatoes will be in a jar with oil, and you can either pluck these out one by one as I'm doing, which isn't very efficient, or you can drain them over a colander. But you might wanna save the oil, because if you really love the flavor of sun-dried tomatoes, you can actually replace the olive oil in the pan with some of this remaining oil from the jar for a little extra zhuzh in the sauce. And for the tomatoes themselves, all you've got to do is slice them up into long strips and then place them in a bowl so you can take them over to the stove. For the lovely pop of green color, you'll need two cups of baby spinach. And as you can see, I like to really pack it down so it's two really full cups of spinach. If you've ever sauteed spinach, you know it wilts down to virtually nothing. I mean, I could probably toss this entire tub of spinach into the recipe if I really wanted to. So if you're a spinach lover, feel free to add more. All right, let's talk about the cream sauce. This recipe is classically made with heavy cream, and if you do dairy, then you are good to go. But if you're dairy-free, you can choose from a can of coconut cream, which is not the same as coconut milk, it's actually much creamier, or you can make my recipe for cashew cream that's listed on my website. And to make that, it's as easy as blending up raw cashews, water, and a pinch of salt in a high-powered blender. You definitely have options for this recipe, so you do you, and whichever version you make, you'll need one and a half cups of cream. I'm making the classic Tuscan chicken recipe today, so I'm adding a quarter cup of freshly grated Parmesan, which gives the sauce a nuanced and slightly nutty flavor. But if you're dairy-free, you can swap in one to two tablespoons of nutritional yeast for the cheese. The last little bit of prep work is seasoning four chicken breasts, so season both sides of the chicken to your liking with about one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, and one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. If you don't have Italian seasoning, you can use a mix of individual spices like oregano, thyme, basil, and rosemary. And pro tip, try to make sure your chicken breasts are all about the same size so that they cook evenly in the pan on the stove. All right, now that we've got all that done, let me show you how to make this Tuscan chicken. Heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a large pan on medium high heat. If you save some of the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes, you can use that here instead. Add the seasoned chicken breasts and sear them on each side for about three to four minutes or until they're golden. They should flip easily and naturally release from the pan once they've gotten that golden crust. But if you try to flip them too early or peak too early, they're far more likely to stick to the pan. Once they're cooked through, or about 90% of the way cooked through, remove them to a plate. You'll add them back into the pan shortly, but first we need space in the pan to make the sauce. 
If your pan is dry and needs a little bit more oil, feel free to add some. Then add the diced onion. Stir that around for about two to three minutes or until the onion has softened and the moisture starts to release some of those browned bits from the bottom of the pan. Add in the sun-dried tomatoes and mince your four peeled garlic cloves straight into the pan. Stir these two items around for another minute or until fragrant, which essentially means you get this lovely Italian aroma permeating your kitchen. Add the baby spinach and stir that just until the spinach starts to wilt, which should take another minute or so. I know it's harder to stir when you first add the spinach to the pan because it's easy to chuck a few leaves overboard, but it wilts down pretty fast, making it manageable. Add in your cream of choice along with the grated Parmesan or cheese alternative. Give that a stir and let the sauce come back to a simmer with lots of little bubbles dotting the pan. As you can see, the sauce comes together quickly and you really just add one ingredient after the other. Using tongs, add the chicken breasts back to the pan and let them simmer for about five minutes or until they're heated through and the sauce has reduced slightly. You also wanna make sure to spoon the sauce all over the chicken breasts so that they're fully coated in the abundance of garlicky, tomatoey Tuscan flavor in this recipe. And you can do that while it's on the stove or as soon as you remove it from the stove. Now, if you're using dairy as I am today, the cream sauce will be more white while it's hot on the stove, but as soon as it starts to cool, it will turn a more golden, sunshiny color. And I promise you this, making this recipe will make you want to watch or re-watch the movie Under the Tuscan Sun. And even though I was just in Tuscany a couple of months ago, this recipe has me wanting to hop on a plane right back because these Mediterranean flavors are definitely my love language. Okay, to serve this up, you could top it on rice, quinoa, mashed potatoes, mashed cauliflower, or lentils, as I'm doing today. I actually really love the contrasting color of the black lentils with the golden chicken and sauce, but any of those options will soak up the sauce beautifully. This is one of those dinner recipes that'll wow your family or guests, and it only takes about 30 minutes from start to finish. Now, normally I'd give you tips for saving the leftovers, but to be honest, there's never any leftovers of this recipe. Someone always goes back for seconds to finish it off. Although side note, as always, I've listed the saving and storing instructions on my website. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe today, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up as that helps to support my channel, and leave a comment if you think I should lead a group tour of Italy or somewhere else in the future. I've actually been approached about that, and it's something I'm pondering. And on that note, I'm gonna finish off this serving in front of me and I will see you guys again in the next video.